it really is, Joanne and Vic. Right now, so far this year, there are shortages of nearly 200 critical drugs, and many of those are used to treat cancer. That means cancer patients are now fighting for more than just their lives. They're battling to make sure they have the medicine they desperately need for their treatment. I think the hardest thing about it all was when I had to tell my kids. It was tough enough for Kathy Mormon to reveal to her family that she was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer, which had spread to her liver. Now this mother of two from Ypsilanti is facing an even scarier battle. Mormon recently found out her life-saving chemotherapy medication soon may not be available. And that was pretty devastating because the drugs have been working, my tumors in my liver have been shrinking. Tremendously. Mormon says after the nurse at her chemotherapy center told her about the national shortage of several cancer drugs, she started doing some research online and she was shocked. According to the Food and Drug Administration, 199 drugs are currently in short supply. Many of those are used to treat cancer. I was very discouraged to think that something like that could happen in this day and age. So why is it so difficult to keep chemo drugs in stock? Some medical experts say it's all about the money. Coming up tonight on Action News 11, I'll show you how some local hospitals are coping with the shortages and what the FDA is doing to fix this problem.